I received a kit of an electromechanical dog named Bittel from the company Pet Toy. It is totally in the spirit of how open is this gadget that the Pet Toy company is also an advocate of the open source philosophy. Like all pet toy robots, Bittle runs with open source firmware and can be operated and programmed using open source software. The main board is based on an Arduino Uno clone and can therefore be easily programmed with the Arduino IDE. The target group are curious people who already gained some experience in programming but now want to dive deeper into the world of bits and bytes. A total of 9 servos bring the robot dock to life. The assembly instructions available on the internet are very detailed so that this process is done rather quickly. There are just two remarks on the assembly process from me. First, take a really close look at the photos of the various construction stages because that will speed up the assembly. I was a bit sloppy and so had to undo and repeat some of the steps. The second point is the small screwdriver. With that it is a bit tricky to tighten the screws with the self-tapping threads. At least that's easier when you do it for a second time. There are also detailed instructions on how to get the dock up and walking on the pet toy website. If you just want to play around, you can control Bittle with the infrared remote... ...or have a few pre-programmed tricks performed using a smartphone via Bluetooth. Unfortunately, the source code of the smartphone app is not available. The good thing is that it requires no registration on any servers. The 9 microservos that move the joints are no standard devices because the case is beveled on one side to get the compact design needed for the tiny robotic dog. A look at the inner components shows a metal gear which means that the tiny drives should have a long service life. The joints are designed in such a way that a too high mechanical load is absorbed and parts can simply be snapped back into place. If the worst comes to the worst, spare parts can be ordered from the manufacturer's website which means that repairs can also be carried out which is totally in the spirit of open hardware. Here everything went well, also Bittle fell onto the hard tiles in my video studio from a height of around 80cm. The robot dock is actually too expensive just for... Look how cute it is! and gets boring quickly by only repeating pre-programmed movements. However, if you want to dive deeper into the world of physical computing, you can spend a huge portion of your life in understanding all the bits and bytes needed to operate Bittle. As a die-hard fan of the Arduino ecosystem and the keep it simple approach, I was pleased to see an 80 Mega 328P on the mainboard. In contrast to the Arduino Uno, however, no USB interface is implemented. This is included as an external circuit board and only needs to be plugged onto the mainboard. If you like things complicated and can live with a smaller range of functions, you can also connect the Arduino IDE via the VLAN module. Once the connection to the PC has been established, programming can begin. Of course, you don't have to write the entire firmware from scratch because diligent programmers have already done that and made the corresponding Arduino sketch available for download. 
Using this codebase, one can understand the ideas behind the firmware step by step. Simple motion sequences can be written with relatively few changes to the base code. There is a dedicated chapter in the Bittle documentation for teaching the new doc new tricks. However, Bittle is not suitable for beginners when it comes to programming, as the firmware is far too complex for that. You need a good portion of basic knowledge in order to understand what changes in the firmware cause what changes in the dog behavior, even with the instructions from Petoy. However, rewriting or changing core elements of the firmware gives a very in-depth understanding of how that software works. Even an amoeba can react to its environment and this is after all the mechanical replica of a mammal. Sensor input is required to react on the environment and Bittle offers this with an acceleration sensor and gyroscope type MPU6050. This allows Bittle to react when the ground under its paws is no longer flat. ...or lay down if he threatens to tip over. If you are willing to dive deep into coding, the robot dog is worth every penny. Fine-tune actuators and sensors in closed loop systems is a very exciting topic that has recently gained attention with the buzzword machine learning. Bittle has everything you need to acquire the necessary knowledge using simple RC hobby servos and a gyro. The movements are not quite as smooth as those of the Boston Dynamics pedigree dogs, but I was amazed what tricks the little mongrel can already perform thanks to many dog trainers worldwide. The most important instinct implemented in the silicon-based dog brain is to get back on it paws whenever something goes wrong. More information and many high resolution photos of Petal can be found on the website of how open is this gadget. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.